Hi everyone, welcome back to Giovanna Designs. Thank you so much for joining me again. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Tonight we're going to do uh, another 10 by 20 uh, canvas, but uh, I wanted to talk about something very quickly first before I show you the colors. Um, I have gotten an outpouring of love and beautiful messages from people asking me what all of this is about. Um, why am I all taped up and what's going on? No, I was not in an accident. No, I have not been burned. Um, everyone's just so sweet. It's really, I can't tell you how many emails I've gotten. Um, but I mentioned it very briefly in uh, Crystal's video, in the, the video for the lady named Crystal, um, who has CRPS, I have something called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, hypermobility type three. Very big name for a very annoying disease. It's a genetic condition um, and it causes me to have lots of problems all over my body. What I do is basically I produce defective collagen and collagen is the building blocks for your entire body, every system in your body. So um, I've had mm -hmm, 28, surgeries to date, nine of them being spine surgeries. Yep. Two fusions. I have C4 to C7 fused and L4-5 fused. So I'm a big old mess. <laughs> so uh, my joints are an issue. Uh, my bones are an issue in general. Uh, my muscles are an issue. And one of the things that happens is that I get a lot of muscle spasms because the connective tissue isn't working properly, your muscles work over time to hold your body upright because that's the job of the connective tissue and the connective tissue does not work. So my muscles are in constant spasm just to keep me upright and moving. So this is something called Thrive Tape. Um, it's a very different, a little bit different of a version of uh, K-Tape um, that a lot of athletes use. And um, it's actually, they are a sponsor of the Ellers Download Society. Uh, and the difference being that the tape itself provides support to the muscle area that's injured or hurting in my case. Uh, but they also have, if you can see these little symbols on them, the little circles, um, those are infrared, have, it has infrared built into it. So it creates heat from underneath your muscle system and it, and it's more of an anti-inflammatory response. So they're really helpful. So no, I'm not hurt. Everything's okay. Um, I mean, I'm hurt all the time, but you know, <laughs> it's just, that's my norm. Um, and so you will occasionally see me with these on when I've had a really bad pain week. Uh, and you know, that's that. They also have some really cute ones with some zebras on them because the zebra is our mascot for the EDS society. So I'll get into that a whole other time if you ever want me to. So anyway, um, Tonight we are going to do a, another 10 by 20 canvas, as I think I said. Uh, we're going to use the, the colors of Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent, Blick Metallic Teal, one of my favorites. Um, the, this is the, yeah, it's warming off, Arteza Prussian Blue. That one's really pretty. It's more of a purpley blue. Arteza Pearl Lime Green. The uh, Ar uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam Copper. And I'm using one of my primary elements. Where did it go? I'm gonna bring it up to the camera because this is so little in here because I just wanna use a little splash. It's the Wine and Roses. Uh, and if I do this, you just, you're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna take one second, find the little bottle and bring it up to the camera so you can see. And then we will get started. I'm just gonna use a drop of this Wine and Roses. I hope you can see that a little bit more clearly than if I was holding it up. That's that drop on the top. It's still a little bit wet, so I didn't want to tip it too hard, but I did not using very much of it, so I don't have much in the cup. And so I wanted to just show you this way. And we're back. Okay, as always, camera's down, hair is up, canvas prepped and ready to go. Okay, everything is nice and level, so we're good on that front, and all of my colors are lined up in the order that I want to pour them. That's not a requirement, obviously, but it makes things a lot easier if um, all your colors are in the order you want them to be, just for your sanity. <laughs> because you don't want to get to the point where, you know, you're ready to pour the colors and now you have to really sit and think and think and think, hmm, how do I want this to look? What do I want to pour first? What do I want to pour second? Because sometimes at this point, you'll get a little overwhelmed and you don't want that. You know, you're just sort of like, uh-oh, now what? <laughs> so plan that ahead of time if you can. Okay, here we go.
Okay, we're good. As always, take your finger and just cover the sides. Now this was a canvas that I reused, and so I did paint the sides first and a little bit on the top, just to make sure that it was thoroughly covered. I happened to have um, primary elements that day. You know, when you're working with primary elements, uh, it stains. It stains absolutely everything. It'll stain your breath. <laughs> so, um, you know, you wanna make sure that you're not working with something that then has the primary elements underneath your current pour. If you're gonna be reusing a canvas, pouring on top of it, it'll bleed through because it is water activated. And so uh, it's water soluble is what I wanted to say. And so that will reactivate the primary elements and it'll seep through to um, underneath your current painting. And you don't want that. Okay, let's blast this with a torch, get rid of all these nasty little bubbles that love to hang out with me. I don't love them, they love me. So for tonight, I wanna go up this way, down a little bit, and then over to this side. So we'll see what happens. That's the intention. Now let's see what really happens, right? Okay, here's that permanent light blue. My pearl lime green. I love that color, it's so pretty, it's so bright. That's black metallic teal. And then I'm gonna go in with the primary elements. You know what, I'm gonna give this one more little whip before I put it on there. Anytime you're working with primary elements, you want to make sure you are stirred properly and thoroughly. You know, any kind of, um, any kind of mica-based paint in general is going to, the mica is gonna settle to the bottom. And so you wanna make sure that you get that all up from the bottom of the cup. You just want that wasted on the bottom of the cup. What's the point of that, right? All right, and now my copper. Okay, so now where's my weight? I put my weight away. I don't need my weight away, I need it back. Come back. All right, so I wanna really throw some white up there so it has something to travel on. Same here. I have a real, real thin um, coat of, of white on my canvas, so I really wanna just put a little bit more down now. Make sure that the paint has enough to travel on. Blast it, get rid of those blasted bubbles. My arch nemesis, right? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna blow the white over and mix the colors together. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. Hmm, what happens there? Ooh, look at this, they pop it up as I'm doing this. That's cool. Of course, that's not gonna stay that way, but it is kinda cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna change my approach a little bit here. I kinda love that. <laughs> hmm, how can I make that work? Okay, well, yeah, that's not gonna stay that way, but maybe I'll be able to keep a little bit of it. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's no composition, but the colors are gorgeous. I'm gonna create a composition, obviously. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna have to scrape something because this is just too much happening here and there's no you know, plan. It doesn't look right. So let me sit and think for a second about where we're gonna go with this. Hmm, now I've got a lot of paint in the center, so that's good. That means there's a lot of potential to blow around and get some interesting stuff out of there just gotta see this i'm not seeing it yet okay and by that i mean i need to see almost like a a sculptor takes a big chunk of clay and 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 scrapes around and then ends up with a face you know i'm not seeing the face yet <laughs> i have to see what i'm gonna take away to see what i'm gonna keep okay 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 let's see all right well this has to go that's not pretty at all so we're taking that out Hmm. 
And what I'm doing is I'm taking my towel and pushing it in towards the center of the paint so that I don't drag it out with me. Okay, this has got to go. Let's work on this down here before we get up there because I want to do something up there too. Not sure what yet. Yes, I'm using a sour cream container for my white. But you know, I, I save just about every plastic container in the house for paint. My husband thinks I'm nuts. I have about 15 of them. But you know, then they get all gunked up and you can't use them for much longer. You know, you wash them only so many times and then they're done. Then they don't want to be washed anymore. So you always need new ones. Hmm. Okay, I'm seeing this happen here. I like that. All right, let's go with that. Hmm. I think I'm getting rid of this too. Yep. It's just it's too chunky. I don't like it. You gotta go. Sorry. Time to leave the party. Of course, I put my towel on the paint, right? Good job. Good job, Gia. Wait to the rescue. <laughs> I'm not blowing the colors, I just want to get that base covered over here without to do it all by mouth. Okay, so I kind of like how this is happening. Let me just expand on that. Dab a little to erase. Now they're not connected anymore. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's cool. I cut on my wire. Okay. Let's get up here. Get rid of you. Okay. That's cool. Or is it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Not sure about that. But get rid of that. And I get rid of this. I'm kind of loving there. I'm still iffy about this too. Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I've got to take this down. It's way too much happening. So, bye bye. This is when people gasp. No, what did she just do? She took away half the painting. Yeah, I did. Pop that little bubble there. I don't like it, and if I don't like it, it's got to go. Okay, back in with my white again. So I'm just gonna tip it over. Some of that's gotta come out too. Let me see if I'm looking at it this way, the way you guys are looking at it. I like that. I really do. I think I gotta just take out all of that section over there. <laughs> Which I love when I take out giant sections of the painting. Okay, I think I'm just going to take out this section over here down in the corner and blow more that way. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Hmm, I don't want to say goodbye to my little cell families. Bye guys, sorry. There's still some of you left. The yeah, other's gotta go. I think it's all. Okay, I'm seeing this little area has to go too. The more I take away, the more I like it. <laughs> I just, I like more negative space than what I had. It was too much happening there.
Yeah, I don't like these anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna end up with the tiniest little thing in the middle, right? Okay. Hmm. Let's get ready, you. Yeah, I probably should have just scraped the whole thing, but I like it. I just, this just, it's not going in the right direction to where I want it to be. So there's, I mean, if there's something there, or else I would have just scraped it if I hated it. But there's something to this. I just have to find the magic in it. I'm still iffy about this thing right here, too. Yeah, I don't like you. You're done. I don't want to waste all that white paint I just put down. Okay, now we have something. Ha! That took a long time to figure out, but okay. All right, I'm going, I'm digging it now. Now we're going in the right direction. Okay, now I'm excited. It's getting a little worried there that I wouldn't have to scrape the whole thing, but I really didn't want to, because I love the colors, they're so pretty. There's still just something off. I think it's this. I think it's that, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the parts I like the most. I end up scraping at the end because they don't fit with the rest of it now. This does not fit with all of this. The flow is here. The flow is there, which I love. A little bit here. Great. That's just sticking out in the middle of nowhere. Not crazy about that. And you know me. If I don't love it, it's got to leave the party. Goodbye. You are no longer welcome. Much better. Oh my gosh, so much better. Okay. Okay, okay. I say okay a lot, right? No, because it's because I'm, I'm working through it in my brain as I'm looking at it and talking to you at the same time. So I go, okay, do I like it? All right, maybe I... Oh, my mumbling. I love it. Done. Yes, finally. Success. I love it. It's really pretty now. Okay, great. I'm gonna take you off the clip and show you the details. And here we are, finally. <laughs> this one, woof. That's giving me a run for my money, right? So I had it positioned this way with the intention of it being looked at, excuse the spin, the way you had it, which is this way. I just like this a lot more. I think that the direction and the flow is really cool this way. So I like it a lot. So let me just give you a close up as to the details of all of this. Cause there's a lot happening this little guy. Well, little guy, it's a 10 by 20, it's not little. You see all that sparkle? There's those primary elements, as always. <laughs> Okay, a little wispy edges. There's that copper. The copper on top of that um, Prussian blue came out really cool looking. You know, you always worry about that making mud, but it really came out pretty. It just sort of blanketed on top of it. And then, you know, had a little bit on the outside. It just came out so nice. And I love this color, of course. I love, love, love my black metallic teal. So pretty, and they're my little cell families. I love my little cell families. <laughs> so once again, I wanna say thank you to 
everyone for your concern and for your very, very sweet messages. I really was touched by them. Really, really was. But not to worry. It's just normal wonky Gigi <laughs> in my crazy life. Okay, so this guy was not a commission. It is available. If you're interested, please email me at Designs at gmail.com. I also have my 20% off discount code for color art, and I will put that on the screen. And check out my Instagram, at Designs to see all of my other work that is also available. Again, you can pivot this way, or this way. It looks really pretty, too. It's a very cool piece now. <laughs> wasn't so much in the beginning, but I really love it now. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much. I hope you are all doing well. Have a great day. Bye.